Hello everyone, welcome to the buying guide for the 2020 variants of the Arma Infraction, the one seventh scale, essentially truck that revolutionized the market back in 2019. We call this a speed bash all road platform, basically because it is. This can go in gravel, dirt, but where it really shines is on road, pavement, asphalt, in the street, at the skate park, on velodromes, drag tracks, places like that. That's where the arm infraction really reigns king. Now the obvious glaring difference is the body. But in addition to that, there's a ton of new technology built into this platform, both electronics and mechanically. So stay tuned to learn more. When they hear the sound of the drum, they'll be saying, oh Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come. Huh. Here we come. Huh. Here we come. <laughs> Here we come. Now, there's actually two different liveries you can get of the infraction. With me today, I'm going to pull the body off so I don't have to lift this whole vehicle up. Is I believe we call this the silver variant, where most of the vehicle is kind of a like a matte to flat gray silver. But there's also this really nice, almost kind of American flag type look up here where you have like a matte blue stars and stripes uh, with the red and white, obviously. But the kind of interesting thing is some of this is actually gloss, some of it's matte. So it kind of has that real nice pop. I don't know how good you guys can see it on the camera there. It has a really nice pop where that jumps out at you. But the rest of the vehicle is just kind of that gray, kind of almost like that gunmetal gray silver combination going on. Pretty unique, but in addition to that, let's set this back on here. There is this blue variant, which is used on the front of the box. I'm gonna block my face here. So now you actually have two different options, which is really cool. So let's pull this body off. I'm gonna set it aside because the real changes to this vehicle are what's underneath here. So bear with me while I set this aside. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. It's trying to fall over. So inside you'll notice there's a couple differences that pop out. The first, I think, glaring one that a lot of people are going to notice is that there's a servo back here now. And it drives what looks to be a brake. Meaning that this arm and fraction now has rear handbrake. Mechanical brake disc driven handbrake. Now, in order to operate this, you obviously need an additional channel. Hence, enter the frame Spectrum DX3 transmitter, which has functionality to directly operate that mechanical handbrake. So keep in mind, this still does have standard brakes, electronic motor-driven brakes that drive all four wheels and tires. You don't have to use the handbrake, but I feel like most people are going to want to use that handbrake and take advantage of that functionality. Plus, this DX3 now has a smart battery level indicator here when paired with smart batteries to show you kind of roughly how much voltage you have. These are kind of typically like 25% increments. So you'd have like 100%, 75, 50, 25, and so on. And this has direct AVC steering rate built in. So you can blast AVC up, which is active vehicle control. Essentially, it's just a gyro built into the receiver, or you can turn it all the way off and really unlock the craziness that is the Arma Infraction. While we're talking about the electronics, you'll notice there is a nice big huge Spectrum Firma 150 amp ESC sitting there which comes with two IC5 leads that both have a data telemetry cable running to them. You also get a jumper so the reason for the jumper is this platform can either accommodate two 2S or two 3S LiPo batteries and then you would pull this out and it essentially runs those batteries in a series which makes it either a 4S or 6S platform respectively. But a lot of people may already have just a single 6S they want to run. Throw the jumper on there, and then you just can run that single one-sided 4S or 6S battery. So that's pretty neat. But like I mentioned, you do have that extra gray wire in there, which is what drives the battery telemetry, or I'm sorry, the battery data, to the telemetry built into the receiver, which then talks to the DX3. And then keep in mind, this same system will operate on any smart-enabled transmitter in addition to this. So... DX5C, the smart version, DX5 Ruggeds, DX5 Pros, and so on. 
And last but not least, we have that nice Spectrum 2050 KV brushless motor bolted onto this platform. Now, what that is able to do is push this platform to 80 plus miles an hour, assuming you have what we call optimal conditions. And what that means is you're running a, a good 6S battery, 50 or 100C, or two 3S batteries, 50 or 100C. You don't have a headwind, there's a nice smooth road, and keep in mind, you need to run that speed pinion that's included in this bag. So please, when you get your infraction, open this bag. There's a lot of goodies in there. The pinion that's on here is more of an all-around bashing pinion that's going to keep the motor temps cool. It's going to be more for just general average everyday use. That speed pinion is what is needed if you plan on doing all-out speed runs. So keep that in mind. You can kind of tailor this vehicle to how you plan on driving it and where you plan on driving it. So with this being a ready to run rig from Arma, uh, the vehicle arrives pre-assembled just as I pulled it out of the box here with the Spectrum DX3 transmitter. What you need to provide is double A's for the transmitter, four of them, batteries for the vehicle itself. So like I mentioned, either two 2S packs, two 3S packs, or a single 4S pack or a single 6S pack. They need to be an IC5 or EC5 connector unless you plan on changing the connector itself, which then you kind of lose some of the technology that's built into this as well. Then of course you have to have a way to charge that. So any commercially available LiPo charger. Aside from that, everything's here. You're, you're assembled, you're ready to go. You could literally go to your hobby shop or order this online at horizonhobby.com and be up and running within a matter of minutes from getting home. It's really cool. Aside from that, that really kind of sums up what's new for the infraction. Now, what we didn't get into is all the nitty gritty details that we really dove into with the Gen 1 infraction. So to learn more about the suspension, the, sh the shocks, the geometry, what you can adjust, the diffs, the durability, the chassis, the really the nuts and bolts of the platform itself, check out the deals on the website. We'll put a link in the description. And then please, we encourage you, Check out the videos that everyone was making on the first gen infraction, which came out about a year ago, mid 2019. I'm not talking about Horizon Hobby videos. I'm not only talking about Arma videos. I'm talking about customer videos. Guys were taking these things and doing amazing things. Crazy smoky burnouts, huge speed runs, just general chaos with these trucks. Oh, and keep in mind that you may, pro tip, want to order an extra set of tires because you're probably gonna get a little overzealous with this and end up needing them rather quickly. So uh, aside from that, that is the buying guide for the Arm and Fraction 1 7 scale. I've been Kyle. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. Otherwise, we will let you go. And make sure if you're watching on YouTube, you subscribe because we're gonna have a lot more buying guides in the future. So thanks for joining us and have fun with your new Arm and Fraction.